All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about my top EDC defensive knives. Now, generally when I'm speaking about this, usually when it comes down to specific defensive EDC knives, these are going to be ran in their own specific uh, like use case. So I'm going to be using these knives and or, or I'm going to be carrying these knives specifically for the application of defense. Now, there are a few we'll talk about at the end that are more generalized EDC blades that just so happen to work well in defensive use. But for the most part, the main bulk of these are going to be specifically defensive knives. So let's jump right into it. And with the first one, we're going to jump into, I get tons of questions, namely on Instagram or IG. And if you guys don't check out my posts there, definitely make sure to subtle plug there. Uh, but this is the BTG or Black Triangle Group Senka. Now I have debated getting more of these G10 knives from them, but for now I just have the Senka and it works well for me. Admittedly, this is not a knife or tool that I carry everywhere. It has a very specific use case because it is a full G10 non-metallic setup as a whole. Like there's nothing metal on this entire setup. Um, um, it is specifically designed to be carried um, in areas that are non-permissive. Once again, this isn't condoning it or saying that I do that, but this is designed for non-permissive environments. So once again, I don't tend to find myself in situations where I need this very often, but it is handy to have in certain applications where you don't know um, if you might be checked or once again, uh, wanted by a metal detector. So once again, not encouraging to use that in any specific way, but that is the Black Triangle Group. Um, Senka. They make a number of different designs. I just like the Senka the most and I feel like it's for me, it fits me well, and I can easily carry it uh, when I need to. So that is the BTG Senka. And like I said, I get tons of questions about it, and it is a very unusual looking tool, being that it is made out of full G10, but it is also very useful for certain applications. So the next one up that is definitely purely defensive is the Tops Ice or In Case of Emergency Dagger. This is another one that I get a lot of questions in about, about because I think the ice is a little bit of an older design. In my opinion, it's not really that old, but a lot of people don't know of this one, especially in the EDC community, because the original designer of this is Andy Tran, and he's really more of like a woodsman slash, you know, a hunter. So the ice dagger um, comes more from his military and tactical background, but it's still a really good, and in my opinion, awesome dagger. And I really like how it is du double ground. So the tip towards the tip here is really reinforced, very thick, very hard, heavy duty. And then you have these flat portions kind of more milled out so you actually get better slicing and cutting. Now granted, don't necessarily think I'll be, you know, feather sticking with this, but it's a nice all around ice or um, it's a nice all around dagger and it does do work if you need it to. So that is the ice dagger. And once again, it does see limited action because it's a very specific use case, but when I need it, I have it. All right, now kind of stepping into um, pocket knives. And once again, I say pocket knives specifically because these are not necessarily folders per se, but my top two for pocket knives are going to be first my Microtech Ultratech. This is the signature line, so it's a little bit more fancy and special, but this is an M390, obviously dagger tip or dagger, I should say, double-edged blade. And it is just stupidly pointy. It's not necessarily the sharpest blade. Um, it is still definitely like slicing sharp. This thing is, it, it does not mess around you would not want to get messed up by this knife, but the tip on this thing is just insane and I love it. It is so fine, so sharp, and yeah, this guy is mean. And once again, too, because it is a pocket knife, you can very easily uh, carry this, conceal it, use it however you need. So once again, not a particular EDC focused tool. And the next one is even less EDC focused, but that is my other Microtech Ultratech. And this one has seen a little bit more use and abuse. So unfortunately the tip is not quite as sharp. Now, once again, not gonna lie, either of these, if you struck someone good hard or struck anything, I should say, with a good amount of you know force, this is easily going to penetrate whatever you're stabbing. Um, it's just that this one has seen some use so that tip is not like, 
as you guys can see here, like this is, does not hurt me to do. But however, once again, if you were to actually like strike with this, it would definitely obviously penetrate. Now, the reason I like this one a little bit more than the other one is because it has that fully serrated top edge on it. So if you needed to, you could flip this around pretty easily in ice pick and have an extremely nasty slicing capability. And that's what I always really loved about this Microtech. Not to mention it also has that super, super uh, fierce tri-grip. They no longer really make this handle variation because it is it'll tear your pockets up but at the same time too like if you're using this and you're trying to fight for your life like that tri-grip pattern is absolutely insane like it is it's hard to explain how grippy this is but the tri-grip is incredibly grippy dare i say more grippy than the original frag pattern that some of these had but uh, the tri-grip is incredibly grippy and for an edc knife i don't think i would really run it but for a tactical self-defense knife the tri-grip is awesome so overall this one in my opinion is a very um very specific user focused knife this is one that once again doesn't see a lot of action because it is specifically designed for self-defense but the reason why i got it is everything about it in my opinion is really good it has a really good fully serrated edge for slashing and tearing it has a really good obviously dagger tip for stabbing and then of course the track pattern on it is super aggressive so it's not going to come out of your hand all right, now let's step into the blades that I think are a good balance of both practical use and of course tactical. So the first one up is going to be a fixed blade, the Half Face Blades Extremis Mark I. Now this is one that does lean, in my opinion, more towards self-defense, especially because if you see holding this thing in ice pick grip, uh, it is very, very aggressive and very mean. Of course, that recurve gives it a very tactical appearance, but also too, it has a very serious swedge on the back. So the actual um, thickness of this blade is very, very thin, very slender, if you were to strike with it you're definitely going to be penetrating deep and once again because of this uh, nice recurve you have a lot of slashing potential with it now however it is also a practical knife you can hold it in more of a normal grip you have good jimping on the back uh, that you can easily override if you just need to cut some boxes open and do some more mundane tasks this blade like i said balances both self-defense tactical use and also practical adc use so therefore it does see a bit more carry time Next up is going to be the um, Chris Reeve Knives Sabenza. Now, I don't think that all Sabenzas really fit into the tactical self-defense role as much, but these Tanto or Tanto tips, however you prefer to say that, are extremely aggressive. And the thing I do like about it is you do have enough of a finger kind of choil or uh, you know swell there to lock your hand in well in ice pick and this is a comfortable large enough handle to really get a good grip um, once again not going to be the best it's certainly no tri grip from uh, microtech but it is certainly good enough to do the job and like i said that tip is going to be amazing for penetrating but what i also like about the tonto specific versions is on the tonto versions of chris reeves knives they give you this continuously sweeping belly so this belly is constantly sweeping so if you do use this in ice pick and you come across for a slash is going to be a very nice uh, cutter because it has that sweeping belly so anyways it's a little bit of a design cue that i think is often missed because it's very subtle but those are only on the tonto versions the tonto versions of the chris reeve and Cosi's and sabenzas are set up a bit more tactical but once again they're totally practical as well you can use them for opening mail cutting open boxes breaking down stuff whatever you need so the next ones up are going to be two emersons the first one is the horseman and the horseman is the mini cqc8 and this guy once again is a pretty tactical knife now both of them have the wave feature so for those who don't know about the wave i'm sure most people do if they're watching my channel but you can hook this on your pants open it up incredibly quickly so i think that that is a very big pro for self-defense blades but also too when you're looking at it this handle is very deep has a nice finger guard to really lock you in an ice pick and then of course that blade has a good size swedge on it indefinitely um, similar to the chris reeve 
uh, Sebenza, this blade, it is very subtle, but does have a sweeping um, motion or belly. So this thing doesn't really have a flat on it, which once again, this is kind of deceptive. It looks more flat than it is, but you can tell more on the spine how this blade is actually sweeping. Because if you look at that spine, hopefully it comes up good on camera, you'll notice how this spine actually is, has a bit of a U curvature to it. Um, so this is actually a sweeping design. So if you did have it in ice pick, you're going to get really nice sweeping cuts. And then of course that swedge and kind of rise um, almost in a harpoon shape is going to be a nice penetrator with durability more in focus. So anyways, that is the Mini Horseman. Now, of course, the next one up is the Mini Commander. And I think that the Mini Commander is definitely more of like a kind of knife built for slashing or cutting as opposed to penetrating because obviously there's no swedge. The uh, tip is not the best for stabbing. Now, once again, like with all of these knives, if you put enough force behind anything, obviously this is a small steel tip. It will penetrate if you put enough force into it, but some definitely are better than others so this is not the best for stabbing but that recurved blade is going to give you nice really good slashing cuts if you need it and then of course once again the characteristic emerson wave is on this guy and also your very deep very solid finger choil is going to lock you in very well so once again i would deem these emersons more edc you know kind of utility blades uh, than I would tactical or fighting knives, but they're just knives that if I had to use them in those types of situations, I definitely don't feel like I would be undergunned or underwhelmed because these guys are pretty darn fierce and pretty darn mean. And of course, Emerson knives have made a number, numerous features in, you know, tactical and, uh, militaresque you know movies tvs video games they're definitely you know emerson as a whole is known for their kind of fighting and military lifestyle as well as truly a lot of emersons have seen time overseas and with combative uh you know operators so definitely emerson has their hand in tactical fighting and self-defense blades uh yeah so anyways, guys, that is kind of an overview of my tactical knives. Once again, as my knife collection expands, I'll probably revisit this and kind of go over blades that once again are purely tactical for self-defense specifically, and then knives that I personally think are, you know, a good blend of tactical and practical. And honestly, when it comes down to it day to day, you know, the tactical practical knives are what usually end up getting the most carry time because unless I know that like for sure, 100%, I want a self-defense knife if I'm like going somewhere specific or if I'm, you know, going to the wrong end of the road, so to speak, um, you know, I, that, those types of situations, I will definitely make sure that I have a self-defense knife, but if it's not those specific situations, you know, usually I'll end up with something that's a little bit more a good fusion between tactical and practical. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.